what's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing another top 5 and today we're going to be covering the top 5 least used heroes in Overwatch. Now, before we get into this countdown, I have two things. First of all, I want to go say that this is my opinion and this is also not a countdown of the worst heroes, it's just the least used. Now, any hero could be good if you use them correctly, so that's why I'm not making a top 5 worst heroes in Overwatch. And another thing is that if you can hear it storming outside, there's a really big storm. It's like flash flooding outside right now. It's crazy. So I apologize for that in advance if you can hear any thunder or background noise. And with that being said, let's get right into the countdown. Now coming in in our number five spot, we have Symmetra. Now I think that the reason why people don't use Symmetra is she's kind of in an awkward place on the class system. She's put in like the healer in the same uh, class as all the healers, but she, she can't heal anyone. The only thing she could do is put shield generators down. She's very hard to use in my opinion. She's not the hardest character to use, but she's definitely, it, she's more on the harder side of to use than the easier side. And then there's like that middle area. She's definitely on the harder side. And I think that that's why people don't use her that much. And that's why she's coming in at our number five spot. Now coming in at our number four spot, we have Anna. Now Anna, the thing about her is, is she can be amazing if you use her correctly, but it puts her, the, something that puts players off about Anna is that you have to shoot your teammates to like to heal them and you have to be dead on accurate like it's not like mercy where you can just aim it in the general direction and it'll uh it'll heal them or like lucio where you stand around them and they'll, they'll all get passively healed but you have to like be dead on accurate by shooting them and she's very hard to use she's she's she cannot be your only healer on the team if if it says no healers and you pick Anna, she cannot sustain a whole team by she cannot heal a whole team unless if they're amazing. But I think that is why nobody really uses Anna that much, and that's why she's coming at our number four spot. Now coming in at our number three spot, we have Torbjorn. Now Torbjorn, I think it's pretty obvious why nobody really uses him. Well, I mean people use him a lot, and that's kind of the same with everything else, unless people use them a lot, just less than others. And I think the people, the reason why people don't use Torbjorn as much as other heroes is because he's, he's a primarily defensive hero. You cannot play Attack Torbjorn. Attack Torbjorn is very hard to play, and at that point, it, it, before learning how to play Attack Torbjorn, it might be easier just to pick another hero entirely that's better made for attacking. And that's why Torbjorn coming in at our number three spot. Now coming in at our number two spot, we have Zenyatta. Now Zenyatta, kind of the same situation as Anna. People, now I don't feel this way. I actually disagree with Zenyatta because Zenyatta is considered one of the worst heroes in Overwatch, which I definitely don't agree with because people say that he's very hard to use. He said They say that he's like the second hardest to use besides Genji. And I disagree completely. I think that he does a lot of damage. The only thing that's bad about Zenyatta is his low health. His orbs do enough healing to kind of sustain a team if you're decent. His if you if you put an orb of discord on someone, they're dead. You, you can kill them like instantly. And your your shots already do a lot of damage and you can kill them like instantly. And like I said, Zenyatta doesn't have that much health, which is why a lot of people don't really like him. Now he has like 250 maybe. I don't I don't know the exact number, but most of that is actually shields and shields degenerate faster than health so i think that's why zenyatta is not really considered a super liked hero in overwatch and that's why it's coming in our number two spot now our number one spot is pretty obvious i'm pretty sure if you play overwatch now our number one spot is winston now winston he's it's the same situation with every character he's, he can be amazing if you use him correctly but to an average player when you look at the roster and you see all those tank heroes Winston's kind of the weak point of the tank heroes to an average player. Now, you have you have this big bubble that you can put around your teammates, but you also have Reinhardt that can just shield your teammates entirely, and you can move with the shield. So that's kind of why people choose Reinhardt over Winston. You have this you have this jump ability, which it makes you jump really high and go in front of enemies, which is cool and it's it's pretty useful if you know how to use it and it's really good on like control points but reinhardt has like a fire uh, a fire hammer and roadhog has his hook and zarya has her ranged attack so that's why people don't prefer winston over those characters and also winston winston's gun does not do damage at far ranges now one thing i do like about winston's gun is that when you get all up on someone like if you're in a hard point or something and their whole team is on there it'll do a lot of damage to several different uh, players but 
you have to be very very close and by the time you get close enough and by the time by the time you they almost get by the time you almost kill them basically you'll probably already be dead because Winston does not have that much health and he doesn't really have that many defensive mechanisms against other players besides the shields and players can just destroy that like pretty much instantly or they can just go right through it and kill him so that's why Winston is the number one least used character in Overwatch. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I know this was kind of like a controversial one and I definitely don't think that any of the heroes are like dead somebody's always use, always using one of these heroes i'm just saying that these are the least used of the roster that we have now there and i will be making a video of the most used heroes in overwatch and that will be coming out soon but this is just the least used characters uh it's like i said it's not the worst characters because there are really no bad characters in overwatch it just depends on the player and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next top five